Okay, so let's see what's the karmic energy surrounding the divine feminine. What is the karmic energy coming towards the divine feminine that they need to be aware of? What is the karmic energy coming towards the divine feminine that they need to be aware of? Divine feminine, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not be. I don't know. I I don't know why I keep looking down this way, but I should be looking up there. The camera's up there. But for some reason, I keep looking that way. Please keep in mind this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. Only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let the shit go. This could be somebody who you are currently with. This could be somebody who you're attached to. This could be someone who you have recently broken up with or detached from. This could be a family member. This could be a friend. This could be um, a neighbor, a co-worker. Some of you, you haven't faced your darkest fears. You haven't healed from a situation. Something you haven't healed from. Divine feminine. Spirit is saying to find balance. Manifest. Teach in reverse. Love abounds. Challenging times in reverse. Go with the flow. Coming together in reverse. And on the bottom of the deck is simply love. So, somebody hasn't faced their darkest fears. You're a teacher. And for some reason you're scared. When it comes to manifesting, this ain't a challenge for you, Divine Feminine. I don't even know why you're sitting there acting like it is. Real shit. This is not a fucking challenge for you. Why is it saying this is 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 or you're is you're not facing a challenge? You're not facing your fears that you will that you feel that it's a challenge. It's not. And it's not your darkest fears. It's something darker than that that you that you you don't have to face when it comes to manifestation. So you may need to, you know, you have something. Maybe you're manifesting your own darkest fears because you're thinking about it too much. Stop thinking about your fears and think about. <laughs> think about love. And you're fearing to teach somebody. You're you're a teacher. You're supposed to be teaching. You can see with your third eye. You may have to teach confirmation. You may need to teach somebody. You may need to teach someone to love. You're you're supposed to be teaching how to heal, but you're not. You're supposed to be teaching people how to face their fears, their darkest fears, but you're not. You're supposed to be teaching people how to manifest, but you're not. You're supposed to be teaching people about challenging times, but you're not. You are supposed to be teaching the people about coming together, but you're not. You're supposed to be teaching, okay? But you're not. You're supposed to be teaching how to heal. And you're not because you're not healed, okay? Is somebody in your life that you're trying to just go go with the flow with this person? You love this person, but you feel like it's not coming together. You're trying to find balance when it comes to this person. 
Maybe you need to teach them how to love. So you can heal. And for you, Divine Feminine, that's simple. Okay? It's simple. For you to teach the love. But what I feel like, you're sitting here and you're waiting. <coughs> you're waiting for something to grow. Between you and somebody. Okay? Manifest. Speak things into existence. You are what you think you are. If you think if you think you're great, you're great. If you think you're abundant, you're abundant. If you think you're rich, you're rich. If you think you're fake, you're fake. If you think you are sad, you'll make yourself sad. If you think confirmation. Manifest. Don't manifest negative stuff. Okay? You're supposed to be teaching. But you're not. You cried a lot about this too. You stop putting the, the effort in the, into the teaching. Here's release. You're not choosing your battles. See, this, this is not a challenge for you. This is not a battle for you. It's something that's in you or somebody that's around you. You need to fucking release. I'm sorry. You need to, lead, to release them. Okay. Because this isn't this isn't helping you to heal. And if you're if you're you're called to heal and you're not healed, how can you heal or help heal somebody else? And this is with love, this is with life and everything. And and the way you heal, you're supposed to be teaching because this person or these people or who or whoever you're thinking about hurt you so bad. This is where you're supposed to express to others. Because somebody may be going through what you just came out of. And by you healing and showing and proving that you heal to the next person. That's how you help heal others. Because you healed you over it. If you'd have moved on to the next relationship. You no now you don't just rush and jump into another relationship after you broke up with somebody. That's not healthy. Because all you're gonna do is go you if you're just rushing to get into another relationship just because somebody started cheating on you. So you wanna get get them back just by going against them. That's not you're still hurting yourself. You're still allowing that person to hurt you. Fuck them, let their feelings go and you heal yourself. Then you you'll be able to to um understand and know what real love is. You won't have to deal with the bullshit you deal with this person. But if you run and jump into another real re in another relationship, just like a week or two, a month after you just got out of this, you're still thinking about that person. You ain't healed. And then you're going to be doing the same thing to the new person that this person has done to you because you ain't over them. And you want to spite the other person, but you're targeting your new person. And that person, that new person don't deserve that. Okay. What else, spirit? And divine feminine, I'm asking you to please hit that thumbs up button for me. And and there's there's a a lot of these cards out here that has black around their rim. So. You need to get a, a, a black obsidian. Okay. All of these cards that has black. It's either black obsidian. Black tourmaline. Black onyx. Okay. To, to help you release. If, if somebody is throwing negative energy at you. And you see how he's coming out of the shell. He's releasing. He's releasing. Okay. 
And if you're dealing with somebody and you haven't healed, you're supposed to be teaching. You can't help heal. If you are called to be a healer and you haven't healed yourself, it's, 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 you, you're supposed to. You have to manifest. You know what you know. You know what you're supposed to be doing. So go with the flow with all of them, them that water down there. Yeah, you didn't cry the river. You know, you you in your emotions. But I see with the color in these cards, you know how to use your intuition. Okay? Because see the card the, the rim of these cards is black, right? But you see there's purple? That's the color of your crown chakra. So once you 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 may need to get you an amethyst that's a purple crystal. Look up the properties of an amethyst. And um it's 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 for to use your intuition, opens up your intuition, it brings you, um, it connects you with spirituality. You started noticing things, you start it has many, 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 many properties of the amethyst. Okay. And once you get this amethyst. You'll you'll find yourself teaching and you won't even realize it. Okay? And you just you know you need to heal from this. You need to get an amethyst. Look at his his clothing right here. It's purple. And this draped over here. This is somebody who you was intimate with. This is like the orange, the color of the sacral chakra, which is your uh, sexual creativity. For those of you, this could, could have something to do with the, the person you're with intimately. Okay. You could you could you need to find balance with this person. And you may have stopped putting in the effort. You could have been working on some sort of project. Something you created. You could be an artist. You could you could play music. You could paint. You could create something. Whatever it is you create. Like, see this this this. This artist is putting in a lot of effort to make this artist be as, be, be as beautiful as he wanted. But with this in reverse, you weren't putting in the effort. Or you could be dealing with somebody who wasn't putting in the effort between you and their relationship. Okay? But that's not your darkest fears. That ain't what you're scared of. That ain't what you're scared of. You're scared of teaching. That's your darkest fears. And that shouldn't even be your darkest fears. Your darkest fear should be going to hell, burning in hell. Okay, it shouldn't be no fears on earth that like could ha should have you to where you can't teach because the teaching is what's gonna gonna help others. Okay, so I'm gonna stop right there, and if I helped you in any sort of way, hit the thumbs up button for me and subscribe to my channel. All right, peace.